Hello, I am making this video to help you with your assignment from um, week four. Um, and this talks about the cell boat stability. And this is on page 605 in your textbook. To begin, to be considered safe for ocean sailing, the capsize screening value C should be less than two. For a boat with a beam or width B in feet and displacement D in pounds, C is determined by this function. And I have the function up here on the screen. It's C is equal to four times D to the negative one third power times B. The first question asks, find the capsized screening value for the Tartan 4100, which has a displacement of 23,245 pounds and a beam of 13.5 feet. So to solve this problem, you need to replace um, these variables with the numbers that were given to you. So for the D, they told you that is 23,245. So that's what you need to replace D with. And then for B, they told you that it is 13.5. Uh, so I'm going to put these numbers up here. and for B is 13.5. Now um, I'm not sure what type of calculators you are using. Um, I use a, this is a 2. I use a, a TI-83 or TI-84 and that helps me calculate um, exponents with negative values. Um, if you're using a very basic calculator like the one that's on your computer or something or the one that doesn't have any exponents then um, you need to find a calculator that will um, help you with the exponents. So you're going to have to plug those numbers in and then solve for C. You're going to get a value. The next question says solve the variable for D. So you're going to take the same equation that they gave you and you're going to get D by itself. Okay, and when they say get D by itself, that means you don't you cannot have any exponents at all. It just has to be D by itself. D is going to be equal to something. It cannot be D is equal to negative uh sorry, it cannot be D raised to the negative one third power equal to something. D has to be strictly by itself. So I am going to show you um a quick example on how to get a problem like that uh, calculated for a specific variable that has a negative uh, exponent. So let's say I have P is equal to 3 times Q to the negative 1 half um, times R. This is a Q. And I want to solve for I want to solve for Q. So I want to get Q by itself. So this, this problem looks similar to the one that you're going to solve for. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this Q to the negative half. You, when you have a negative exponent, what happens is that term uh, becomes a denominator. If your negative exponent is in the denominator, that term goes up to the numerator. And this will change your uh, exponent to a positive value. So, I'm going to rewrite this as 3r, and since this q is raised to the negative one-half power, I'm going to bring it down. And so now my exponent is positive, so it's q to the positive one-half. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cross-multiply. I'm going to cross-multiply because I'm, the whole goal here is to get q by itself. Okay. I'm going to cross multiply. You can think of P as P over 1. Same thing. So when I cross multiply, I end up with P Q to the 1 half equal to 3R. So now I have 3, I, I, sorry, I have Q in a position where that I can finally get it by itself. The next uh, step is to finally get Q to the one half by itself. So to do that I need to get rid of the P. And to get rid of the P I'm going to divide both sides by P. So now I have Q to the half equal to 3R 
over p. The next step is to get rid of this power of a half. To do that, I'm going to multiply it by 2 because I know that 1 half times 2 is just 1. So basically, I want to get an exponent of 1 on that q. So what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So if I raise this to the second power, I need to raise this whole thing to the second power. So this leaves me with q, and you have to uh, apply one of the exponent rules here. You have to raise everything here to the second power. So you need to raise the 3 to the second power. 3 to the second power is 9. And then you have r squared, and then you have all over p squared. So basically, I have gotten Q by itself. But like I said, you have to go through the exponent rules in order to do a problem like this. And as you can see, Q is not equal to a numerical value. It's equal to a numerical value along with the other variables that were involved in the equation. So that's the same thing that's going to happen in um, part uh, B of your uh, problem. And then the last part says, what displacement is the Tartan 4100 safe for ocean sailing? And um, they gave you this information. They told you, once you what, what happens is the numbers from part C, you need to plug into part B. Whatever answer you get for part B, you're going to use that same equation to solve for part C. So they told you that B is 13.5 and they told you that in order for the boat to be safe for sailing um, C has to be less than 2 okay so your C is going to be 2 so now what you have to do is solve for D well you solve for D in part B so now you have these numbers here that will actually give you a numerical value for D and that's for part C okay so those are the steps that you need to take in order to solve this problem I hope this helps